Okay, so let's go to our C master, which has our text box there. Um, we're also going to be setting up our chapters and our page numbers. So let's enter a text. So you're just going to click on the type tool and actually draw out a box. And then put a page or whatever in there. And you want to go ahead and format this text how you want it to look. We're going to be using um, Lato at um, 12 works. I want this to be right justified. So this works just like, you know, any text. Sorry. I swear this dog is super good and quiet until um, I start recording. Okay. So I want this to be right justified like that. I want to align right. And then I'm going to go to type, and I think it's on type. Oh yes, insert special character. It's going to be markers, so current page number. Just like that. All right. So actually, on this because I'm not doing this left to right, um, I'm laying this out a different way. I'm actually going to move this page number to the center, like this. And have this centered like so. So this is going to be the page number. What I want to do next is actually I want to put like just a little line. So I've clicked on the line tool, make a little big line right there, and I want this to be say half a point big. Let's see if it how it looks. There we go. That'll tell us what page number we're on. And then on the top here, I'm going to make another text box that's going to be chapter or section. And again, I want this to be in lat two. It's going to be different than the, um, I'm going to have this all caps. So there we go. It's going to be different than the actual body text. And I want to, again, go to, I don't know if you have to highlight this or not. I'm just used to doing that. Um, I think it's special character again, markers, and this is going to be section marker. So it's going to tell us what section we're in or chapter. So there we go. We have those set up. So now we're ready to import some text. So we're going to go to page one, which looks like this. this is actually going to be the um, title page, which is going to look something like this so we know we don't want this to have the regular text in it then we're going to go right click and insert page after page like that and this is going to be let's see i had this laid out already okay so the first page actually is going to be like a title page so we're going to put on page one no master so apply master to pages and we're going to choose none on page one Page two is going to be, I don't know this just from already doing this, the dedication page. So that needs to have this master. And then page three is going to be the quote page. So let's do insert pages. And then we're going to right click, apply master to pages. And it's going to be the master, which is the quote, right? Then I'm going to, um, Insert pages, and this is going to actually be C master. So let's go ahead and choose C master right there. So this is where the actual body is going to begin. So I already got, actually, the introduction is going to be right there. So actually, I still need the um, A master on those. So my master, A master. Okay. So <clears throat> Let's go ahead and next go ahead and define what we want our our chapter titles to look like. So, so I've already got approval on this design, which is like this. Um, this is the font that she actually uses and the size and everything. So I'm just going to copy this and then we're going to paste this right here. And now we're going to define the the paragraph styles. So this paragraph is actually going to be called, I just click on this, create new style. This is going to be called, oh, let me undo that. 
I'm sorry. Edit. Okay, so we're going to edit paragraph style one. <clears throat> There we go. Okay, so we're going to actually call this headline. And it should have, so like this has our font, what color, and the alignment. So there we go. So that's going to be called headline. And then let's go ahead and come over here. Actually, let me just go ahead and copy this. Oops. Let me go ahead and paste it. So it's copied. Let me go up to... This one's going to be called what? I think introduction. Oh, dedication. Dirt. So this dedication is already done. So let me go ahead and just copy that and put that right here. So this is going to be calling um, the style. We're going to create a new style. We're going to edit this. And this is going to be called. Um, chapter titles. Why is this not working right? I don't know why it's not letting me do that. I need to go like here. Okay, there we go. So it's going to be called chapter, uh, the chapter title text. So it isn't actually the chapter headline, it's the title text. And the font we're going to use is called MB Empire, the size 24. So now we've got that defined. Next, we're going to go back to the one I've already done and copy and paste this. So, obviously, my. No, let's see, let's just make this a little bit smaller. And then we're going to find this style as, oh, why is it not going to do this? No. Hmm. Hang on, it's been a while since I did this. Let's see, feet, undo, undo. Find a new style. I don't know why it's doing this. It's weird. All right, let's see. So let me just right click on this. Edit paragraph style one. I'm going to call this body text and hit OK. So now we've got our body size done, our headline, our yes, headline done. So, next we're going to put, go ahead and put in this quote. Get layers. Let me just go ahead and grab what's already done. And not have to recreate it. And we're going to call this paragraph style. I'll just copy and paste because I feel like there's not like very of them. Okay, so I think we're pretty much set up to start entering in like the big content. So let me go ahead and go back to pages. The intro is what eight pages long, so I might seriously just copy and paste. Um, let's see, a master looks like that. So I do want to create a new master. Let me duplicate this master spread as D master take the title off so this is just going to be strictly for the intro section so let's see, go to this and then insert pages and we're going to be using apply master to pages D master so 
I'm just going to seriously copy and paste the work that I've already done. So, um, I don't need my DD master and change. No, I don't. I don't want to do that. Sorry. <laughs> and this is why. I mean, I guess there's like probably other people, other ways to do this. This is just the way that I figured out that works for me. So, there we go. And then we're going in to a new page with the master. Just the same content. No surprise me. No, ma'am. Sorry. No. Stop. Make this bigger. Insert pages. And normally I would just have this to where it automatically goes. I'm going to do it on the next video um, where it automatically goes from page to page. But this is just the intro. And I just didn't feel like it would be worth the hassle doing that. Insert pages and then we're ready to do the main content. Okay, so now we're gonna I'm just gonna stop this video and the next one will be about putting in the bulk of the content. See you on the next one.